Let's talk about the challenges of packing up 500 orders in a month. <laughs> yes. How do your hands feel, guys? Dry. <laughs> My hands feel like a construction worker. Mm-hmm. Took them <laughs> and then licked them. When, <laughs> when <laughs> took them and licked them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's how Ryan feels. Yeah. My hands are dry all the time. I'm having to lotion them up a lot. Yeah. Um, my cuticles hurt. Yep. Um, just from the the pages and the the plastic and the and the cardboard and all the the paper. But you know what? We're gonna do it because we have the mystery mail call and we have to serve the community. And it's been awesome. It's been growing a lot. And we do appreciate you for signing up and just helping us grow something cool. We also do something in each mail call. We incorporate this as an opportunity to give back to the community a little bit as well. Should we shout out the people from the post office right now? Yeah, we should. Lake shout Stevens. out to Kate and Jeanette. And Jeanette over at the USPS here in Lake Stevens who help us unload these freaking 250 packages every other week now yes it's getting um, it's getting way crazy you need a bigger car yeah i do it's been it's been a ruckus you're well, not gonna be able to have a co-pilot at, at some point in the future right. you're gonna need that room for you can't see anything out any of the windows it's <laughs> packed high with milk calls. we should have photographed we have to car. drive around a lake to get there mm-hmm. so <laughs> <laughs> well next week um you're gonna come back and then tom's like he bought a hummer yeah, it's H two, H two, because the most unreasonably sized vehicle. <laughs> this is what we needed. I, I thought this was a business good investment. Business investment for exactly. the mail call for the comic fam. It's this for is, you. This is for the comic fam. I need a yeah. Hummer. <laughs> I can't imagine that at all. Then it's a jet. How would you even get in? <laughs> I don't think any of us would ride in it with him. I would. No one would. I wouldn't. I'd, ride ride. The, I'd hold on. I'd hold on to the back like a garbage man. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holding like one or two more mail calls. <laughs> yeah, just the, one or two. Because the car's that full. Oh my goodness. Well, we do something else with the mail call because we're sending this to enthusiasts in the comic book community, those who purchase comics, those who collect, who read, as well as appreciate art. We send out a print. And where do these prints come from, Erin? Well, we get a lot of stuff sent in from independent artists. A lot of them are from Instagram. And it's really great because what we do is we just we print them out um, as the cover of the newsletter. Instead of just having it be blank, we'd rather put art for like-minded individuals, get them in the hands of the people who would buy their art, um, and, yeah, just get it out to the community. That's awesome. You know, we get the community involved. They repost a lot of their mail calls. So this is an opportunity for the artist to be showcased on multiple different Instagram feeds and yes. videos. Every month we come here, we go through all the art. A lot of donations make it to this table. And we pick one, one to go into the mail call for that next month. And that's this video. So hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into it and take a look at some of the comic fam's creations. We're about to jump into some art, just like that level on Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. There's the reference. Someone out there knows what I'm talking about, and I love you in advance for whoever you are. I was thinking, why didn't you reference Mario 64? Jump into the art like the That's game yeah, where literally jump everything into paintings. is your jump into paintings. But okay, no, 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 no. no Ryan's like you guys. No, 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 you guys no, no, are giving no, no, no. vanilla answers that everybody knows. Oh. I'm giving the answers that like five people out there are gonna know, and they're oh. gonna love me for it. Okay, elitist. I, uh, yeah, yes. that's kind of elitist right I'm there. I'm an elitist what I'm saying. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. All right, we All got right. some poison ivy goodness. Yeah, and you know what? When I first looked at this one, I, I thought, is that poison ivy? Just because she's so non-traditional looking, um, I really like this kind of art. I like the the just the splash of color. Um, I like that it's fall colors too, like it's showing changing leaves. I think it's really cool. Um, I like that she has fishnets all over her body. This is Tim Kanasen over at TCNOSS dot art. Thanks so much for sending that in. I think it's a really unique take on Poison Ivy. All right, take a look at this hilarious scene. We got like what is this Thanos and Punisher? It's some kind of crossover between the two characters. It's hard to tell. It's a Thanos guy wearing a Punisher shirt who is holding up this other guy who's got a gun. Well, who had a gun. He dropped it. He's looking extremely terrified, as he should be. And then you got this other dude in the back, like, covering up baby Thanos' eyes, which I'm assuming is some kind of tie-in to Cosmic Ghost Rider, but I haven't read it, so I I can't (laughs) talk about Cosmic Ghost Rider. Shout out to Nick Sutphin over at Nick Sutphin Art. Thanks for your donation. We do appreciate it. Well done. All right. Now we have the High Puddin'. All right. (laughs) Ha Puddin. That's what we it have says. Harley Quinn. Hey, yeah. Harley Quinn. Jay Rodriguez, he drew Harley Quinn. He's over at JRock17 over on Instagram. And this is cool. This was a actually would have been a good pick for October. Um, definitely in that Halloween theme. I'm a big fan of Harley Quinn most of the time. 
I could stand to see a little less of Harley Quinn in the world, if I'm being honest. But sure, this is a very well done drawing. I, I, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, what do you think, Aaron? I don't have an opinion on Harley Quinn. <laughs> you don't have an opinion on Harley Quinn. You're, you're a Poison Ivy fan over Hi- Harley Quinn, right? Sure. Wholeheartedly, yes. Yeah, Poison Ivy is way cooler than She Harley is way Quinn. cooler. Yeah, mm-hmm. most definitely. All right, this next person, super, super talented. This is Pat Garden over at Pat Garden Art. He is a digital artist, and he has made some really cool works of art here. We have Wonder Woman, as well as this like Adam West Batman from the 60s. That's my um, favorite one that he submitted. With the bomb. Yep. Very cool. When so, I first looked at this, I thought for sure it was going to be like, this is the comparison photo. Like, this is the real, like an actual, like from the show. And then. Oh, this is his art. And then like, I'm like the next thing I thought the entry yeah. would be his entry, but You're no, like, this no, is this it. This is it. No, yeah. this is awesome. And what's really cool here is like, take a look at this next one. We have, uh, the rock is black Adam and then <laughs> Superman. Pretty cool. Um, he actually does all this on his YouTube channel and he records it um, live as he draws it. So you can actually see the process you know, cool. in a time lapse of him creating this very talented individual drawing some really cool stuff. Yeah. I'm really loving this. I, I want to check out his channel now. I don't really respond much to art, but I love seeing people who have talent and uh, I like seeing the process for sure. Cause I have, I have zero talent. All right. And then we have Rex G over on 12 bagger Instagram. He drew some cool Defenders work. <laughs> Take a long look, because it's the last time you're ever going to see this group of heroes. The Defenders are gone. That's sad. I know. It's got, I really am not feeling good about this. I really was hoping to see another Luke Cage season. I think he might have gotten one more. I don't know. I just kind of closed my eyes about it. Yeah. Because I can't believe that they kept making Arrow. They kept making, <laughs> like, <laughs> they kept making fucking Flash. And it's just... And they canceled the good shit. I know. I would I would rather have Constantine over Arrow and Flash. I know. And that was bad. I like the Flash. Yeah. It's too dramatic. The show is too yes. like it's very CW, CW drama. Is. Yeah. It's like, uh, like a soap opera. Oh, my God. They're like, every time there's drama, they're like, I can't oh, believe geez. that you did what you knew would upset me. <laughs> He, the, I just remember an Arrow, whole episode on it. The first two seasons of Arrow, like the premise is he was on this island for five years, right? <laughs> and mm-hmm. but in, it's like there'd be this conflict, and then the like it'd be, whether it be a sister, his mother, like people that are important in his life, they'd be like, well, you know what? You would understand if you had been around these last five years. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, but he was on a freaking island in a, in a boat crash. Yeah. Right. If like involved in that stupid accident. <laughs> could have been here. Yeah. Sh- shame on you. Yeah. Like and that's then, like, that. what the, what that show was like yeah. for years. It was like every like other episode, they'd have to like resolve conflict about him being gone for five years. And again. then season three, starts out with, turns out he wasn't on the, Russia he actually <laughs> left and came back a couple times. Yeah. This wasn't cast away. But every time like, or his response was like, I was on an Island for five years. Like they said it so many times, five years. How long were you gone for? Five years. All right, let's not have Stephen Amell take over this conversation. Let's bring it back to the art with this venomized print. Venomized Wolverine print. By cool. Angel Dominguez over on Angel So Fly on Instagram. This is awesome. This was actually probably one of my favorites that came out this month. This would be my favorite if we weren't going to pick the one that we ended up picking. I would have I would have said this. I don't I don't even like Wolverine or, or Venom, really, but this is such a well done drawing. Can't help it. Coloring. So good the color work the color works great it's a interesting take on what this would look like if it was happening i'm excited about this piece of art i think it would look good on the newsprint i want to know from the audience what they think about these prints that have come through do you like arrow do you like flash do you want to see constantine get his own damn show where he actually can smoke a cigarette on screen um put your answers in the comment section below and let's take a look at our pick for the month for november's mail call you have until the 15th to sign up but we have picked a print from the last video because the response was so, so strong. So many people really liked this. Who did we pick, guys? She-Hulk. She-Hulk. I love this one. That's another character I'm not really familiar with either, but you just can't deny the power of the image. She's awesome. And I'm glad we um, opened it up to the audience last month to have them say what they wanted because I really wanted She-Hulk, but I know people are really sensitive about She-Hulk. 
and people take her really personally and they're really defensive of her. So I'm glad that the audience was pro She-Hulk here. Oh, yeah. I I feel so much more positive about sending She-Hulk out after seeing so many people rave about how awesome this was. Right. The regular comment was, I thought you should have picked She-Hulk until we saw the death print you sent Mm -hmm. out. Yes. And so it's like, all right, so I feel good about it. So shout out to Ray Acevedo over at Ray Acevedo Art on Instagram. You made some awesome pieces of of content. This She-Hulk is gorgeous. And we're going to be sending out one of these to every member of the Mystery Mail Call pushing over 500 crazy stuff ah feels good we appreciate you guys thank you so much we do appreciate all the artists in the community who are hustling on instagram this is our way of giving back if you want to donate any art to the mystery mail call where can they go the artist submission page on geekstreet101.com you can send it into the mystery mail call at gmail.com. So you can also sign up for the mystery mail call on that website too if you are so inclined yeah if you want to get your she hulk print Links in the description below. All the info's on the website. We do appreciate you. Thank you for watching, Comic Fam. We appreciate your time. And, as always, geek responsibly. Enough said. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget, you have until November 15th to sign up for the Mystery Mail Call to reserve your November box, to get your She-Hulk print, and to get your comic books from us. Link in description below to sign up.